Nintendo, why are you going to be like that? Oh, no. Microsoft? Ah. Good morning, Brian. Uh, first off, I'd like to say screw the four minute rule because I just can't stay within four minutes. It's impossible and I have to cut out all the funny stuff if I'm doing funny stuff. So, screw it. So what I'm going to talk about today is the video game industry, where we are right now. Uh, I don't like where the video game industry is going. I have a lot of issues with what's happening and I'm going to talk about them. Let's start with Nintendo. They always try to do something different, but let's go way back. They're the company that created us gamers. Most of us are gamers because of Nintendo. But lately they've completely left us behind. With the Wii they made their first party games and as usual they were spectacular. But they didn't give us a platform that could offer gamers and longtime Nintendo fans something that they need. I totally understand that the Wii was a huge success, tapping markets previously untouched by video games. But they've completely alienated their biggest fans. Most of the people who bought the Wii aren't people who will go out and buy a console just because it has Nintendo's name on it. With the new console, the Wii U, uh, thus far, after a year, it's not such a success. They released a console on the same par as the Xbox 360 and the PS3 as the time was just about to end. They swore that they would have spectacular third-party support, and at first it looked like it did, then all of a sudden developers started dropping out and other developers started bashing it. I'm looking at you, EA. That is never a good sign. Nintendo should always do what they need to do to make developers happy. They're the ones that sell consoles. Developers make games. When a console has a lot of games, they sell more consoles and they make a profit from the games as well. I get that they were trying something new with the Wii U, and I get that that's what Nintendo does. They have their neat little gamepad controller and all the other little things they like to do. But they could do exactly what they wanted to do with the Wii U if they added a powerful processor and more RAM they would have not just a console that's friendly to next-gen games and their developers, but also a unique console, which is exactly what the Wii U is. It's unique. But it just isn't friendly to anybody but Nintendo. And you know how cheap RAM is? They're practically throwing it away. Come on! I kind of hope that Nintendo has some trick up their sleeve to release an add-on to the Wii U to make it a Super Wii U or something like that. Up to par with current-gen consoles. I paid 350 for my Wii U, and it came with a game if there's any consolation. I would pay another 100 to $200 to upgrade it to, to a next-gen console. The next runs of Wii U's could be bundled with the add-on, and current owners could be offered a discount on the add-on. Sounds good to me. Nintendo, it would be so easy to win over gamers if you had a console that was technically comparable to the PS4 or the Xbox One. You'd have no problem winning over EA, Bethesda, Rockstar, and all those important developers. Gamers dream of a console where they can get Grand Theft Auto, and Zelda, Call of Duty, Mass Effect, Pikmin, Borderlands, Skyrim, Mario, all on one console. Nintendo console issues aside, there are bigger Nintendo issues at hand. So if you're not familiar with gamer culture, there's this massive online community that makes Let's Plays. And what it is, is people basically just record themselves playing video games and talking. It's pretty simple, but there's millions of people into it. So Nintendo announced that every video that has Nintendo footage in it will now get an advertisement with it, and all the revenue goes to Nintendo. At first thought, that makes sense, right? These video games are Nintendo's property, and they should be able to make money from that. But look at it this way. These are people who are advertising these Nintendo games online at no cost to Nintendo. In fact, these Let's Plays probably equal a multi-million dollar marketing campaign for Nintendo. And they don't have to pay for it at all. Why would they go ahead and encourage people to never play their games again? Seriously, there's people who make a living by making videos of video games like this essentially advertising them. Now they'll never make money off their Nintendo related videos, so obviously they won't make the videos anymore. Good choice, Nintendo. People will probably not even do reviews of Nintendo games now. I know I'm kind of hesitant to do it, because how do they know if Nintendo is going to try to take the profit from them? After all, this isn't Nintendo going through every video. They have this thing that detects that it's Nintendo footage, and it does everything automatically. I'd like to say that until they retract this action, I'm never going to buy a Nintendo published game or a console, or make a video about a Nintendo first party game. But that's probably not going to be true, as I recently bought a Wii U, and I don't want that to go to waste. The way Nintendo has been acting has been like a five-year-old kid who needs a timeout. So Nintendo, you need to take a timeout and you need to think about what you're doing and take note of what you should be doing. You're pissing off all your fans, you're pissing off your developers, and you're alienating everyone in the process. I encourage everybody who feels strongly about what Nintendo has done on YouTube to email Nintendo. I know it probably won't do anything, but it's always worth a shot. Personally, I would rather see my favorite video game company succeed 
and be as awesome as they should be, rather than this pile of crap that they've become. Okay, that's it for Nintendo, on to Microsoft. I've never been a huge Xbox fan, but I can respect the 360 as a console. I own one, it was a hand-me-down, it barely works and I barely use it, but I know it's a gamer's console. Now they announced their next-gen console with a confusing name, Xbox One. And they pretty much just pissed off every gamer with it. To make a long story short, every game comes with a one-time use code, so if somebody else buys that game used, or you lend it to a friend, they have to buy a new code for the full game's price. Microsoft has gotten kind of confusing about this topic, but it seems like it's up to the publishers to put this used game protection into place for each of their titles, but I'm not quite sure how it's working. It also requires an internet connection. If at some point in every 24 hours you don't have an internet connection so your console can check in, you won't be able to play your games. Those are the main problems I have with this. Oh, so it also comes with a new version of Kinect, and it won't work without it. Great. It's always plugged in. And always watching you. Though apparently people say the thing actually works this time, so that's always good. Oh, it also plays Blu-rays. I was actually not expecting that. I don't know. I felt Sony would be like, screw you, Microsoft. You can't have our Blu-rays. And it also has a nice controller, as usual. The Xbox 360 was thus far probably the best controller ever made, and I'm sure the Xbox One will even be a better controller. Ultimately, my issue is the fact that I can't rent, lend, or borrow a game, or even buy a used game. Or even, if, or even if I, amongst all the confusion surrounding this, I've got it wrong, I still can't support the fact that Microsoft is encouraging that kind of behavior. Blech. Thank you, Sony, for being awesome this generation, at least so far. Check this out, this is from Sony's E3 press conference, just giving Microsoft a huge slap in the face. For instance, PlayStation 4 won't impose any new restrictions on the use of PS4 games. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> we believe in the model that people embrace today with PlayStation 3 and continue to demand. Just heard you there. When a gamer buys a PS4 disc, they have the rights to use that copy of the game. They can trade in the game at retail, sell it to another person, lend it to a friend, or keep it forever. <laughs> 